What's up guys, Process here and today we are going to talk about the best build to use in a multiplayer mode. Uh, I was investigating this for like two weeks now and I finally came up with the perfect build for everybody to use. So um, I don't think this build will be the best um, in the next patch because the um, uh, developers of the game will add bosses and uh, the bosses will probably need more damage because uh, this build only has 800 damage and you'll probably be very slow uh, in killing the boss. So yeah, if that happens, I'll just make another video and yeah, it's really cool. So uh, as you can see, I'm using um, Elite Warrior class, uh, mainly because it has shields, uh, it has big area of damage. And yeah, it's quite easy to use and I personally think that's the best class at the moment, um, for multiplayer mode, of course. Um, and yeah, let's show you my items. So, on the first place, we have Gaian set. Uh, I'm using this set because it has the highest armor, um, because you need 150 armor to be able to dodge more traps and go into lava. And the second reason is, because its magical element is earth. Uh, that allows me to climb to those uh, green platforms and reach uh, secret areas quicker. And also I don't need to worry about falling down into the abyss and losing the game against the player. So uh, I play more freely, I'm quicker than most of the players. Uh, and yeah, so second thing is steel blow ring. Uh, I'm using it because its magical element is air and that allows me to um, dodge the, uh, those traps, those spikes. Even if I hit them, I won't receive any damage, so it's only because of that. And uh, on the last place is Golden Dragon Staff. So I'm using this uh, light weapon because I can shoot through those light barriers. So uh, I do not need to come closer to the enemies and risk of being hit. Um, and yeah, um, I'm using staff because staffs are... Uh, they can hit spiders um, more easily. No, it's not like those uh, swords or, um, I don't know, those um, daggers. It's very hard to hit them unless they jump, you cannot hit them. Um, you can also use those hammers, but I wasn't so surprised by them. So, yeah, that's it. And now I'm going to show you the build in action. So, here we have those spikes. As you can see, I cannot receive any damage. I can jump on this uh, green platform. And yeah, I can, after I activate this special skill, I can receive uh, shields and it helps greatly. This staff allows me to shoot through barricades which is quite useful because I don't need to come uh, to come close to them. I can kill spiders without um, aiming at them or waiting for them to jump. So I, as you can see, I can uh, shoot through this. And um, let's find some fire, fire traps. Let's see if there are any fire traps. Uh, yeah, there is lava here, so yeah, if I go into this, I won't die. Normally I would die, but I have uh, a lot of armor. And yeah, I can shoot through this also. And that's it, that's basically it. You can avoid all the traps, you don't need to worry about anything. You have shields, you have everything basically. So uh, the only thing you need to watch out is on time. If, he's, uh, if your enemy is uh, quicker than you, then yeah, you may lose, but yeah, it, everything depends. And the um, thing about this build is that you cannot see those ghosts, so yeah, you need to watch out for them because they are invisible and they are hard to see. So yeah, that's the only thing that's bad about this set, nothing else. But I think that's okay because 
Ghosts are very rare in every dungeon. They like appear every fifth dungeon and yeah, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. So yeah, that would be it.